everything. All right, guys. So we are back in Angular JS and Code Academy. We're in Unit Three here. Services. I just got done doing it. It's a very um, fun little interesting course. And uh, just a little heads up. A little bit of an outro uh, or outtake of this course. Um, if you go past the outro of the video, you'll see it. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so what's a service? A service is basically like an API call, uh, at least in what we'll be doing here. You'll see that we're using some sort of um, forecast JSON here. Um, but just think of it if you're familiar with the Open Weather API, something similar. So in the browser to the right, let's go ahead and visit our JSON object here. So uh, you'll see that it takes in some, it has some data, and then it has an array of data that is for each day of the week. It looks like. So you'll see they already have a setup here with a git call. This is just a standard uh, Angular. Uh, git call for um, like your APIs you pass in a URL and then on success you run a function that does some stuff and then on on failure or on error you do run a function that does some stuff so let's go ahead and jump into index.html and in here we are going to include a new and here we're going to go ahead and include this forecast.js, uh, which looks like we already it already did it right here. So you'll see we have a script. It's our service. It's being called at the bottom here, and then uh, in our main modify main controller by passing in. So let's go to our controller. We have main controller like so, and what we excuse me we have to go into the um, forecast here. So here's our app factory. And then in our main controller, we want to go ahead and pass in, in the controller. Let's go ahead and pull this up again. I wish they would just have all these things open. Makes my life a little bit uh, more of a headache. So you'll see right here, we're passing in scope. We're also passing in forecast and we're passing in a function. So we have like so. We didn't reset this properly. That's what's going on here. There we go. And then we pass that in. So basically in the controller, now you can have the controller in the app. Typically that's what I do because I'm not making large applications. Um, but you're basically seeing in the controller here. Let's go ahead and add that back. For some reason it detect that. So we're basically setting a scope here equal to our data in the forecast.success. Now, what is forecast? Just something we're going to be using later on. Uh, the gist of this, you should kind of already be familiar with the main controller and the app at this point. But let's go ahead and just kind of uh, go on to the next section. And we can kind of review how APIs work and what we're trying to do with an API. That's really the point of this section at the end of the day. So uh, inside forecast, we have the git, if you remember. That's basically right here. Um, so let's go ahead and view this. And I'm actually going to put this in a new window real quick and make it nice and big so everyone can see it. So you'll see here that we're getting some a JSON data back. And uh, I'm using a, um, a JSON formatter. So if it doesn't come out this beautiful for you, uh, go ahead and just Google JSON formatter extension and it will make it a lot, your life a lot easier. So it, it's taking a date and icon and a high temp and a low temp. But it's basically just data as we can see here. So what do we want to do? We want to jump into our index.html where we're outputting this data. And uh, we have a there it goes. God, it wasn't loading. I was like, no, that's not right. And for some reason, I have this. God, it didn't reset this at all. This is really. I apologize, guys. Um, so I'm just going to delete this as we go along here so that you can kind of see what's going on. Unfortunately, it didn't reset what I wanted it to do. So we'll just go piece by piece and delete it. Um, I do try to do these beforehand. So everyone can see. So we have our class here called forecast, and then ng repeat. Remember, we'll iterate through all the values in an array, and so the day 
in five day dot days. And if you remember from our thing here, five day would be our data and days dot days would be the array. So we're going to iterate through all the all the data in the days array. So what do we want to output? We just want to output the, the four parameters here. So uh, first we're going to go ahead and do the um, We'll just do the date time. Wow, they didn't they didn't set this up at all. All my all my stuff, yeah. It goes date time, icon, high, and then low. Wow, they sorry guys, this this kind of has thrown me for a loop because it's completely different than what I did like two minutes ago. But anyhow, so we're gonna take day and five days dot day, and we wanna go ahead and just get the date time. No, no uppercase. And then we wanna do the same thing here, except we want to do an image, and when we do an image, we're going to have to use the Angular um, property here, ng source, and we're just going to go ahead and pass in, if I can type correctly, day dot icon I forget if you have to have closing tags in Angular. I know you do in React. I don't think you have to in Angular. We'll just go ahead and put that in there from my personal preference. And then we'll have something here that will be day, excuse me. This is going to be the high, the day dot, dot high. And then we'll do the day dot low. We're basically just targeting the data. Now, if you're, you're confused, this is essentially the data dot day and then the array whatever current item we're iterating on dot low so let's say it's the first one this is our data this is this would be days excuse me days this would be days and then the current one that we're iterating on i would be this and then low would be this so just just so to clear that up if you're still a little bit confused some people for some reason have have issue kind of understanding the flow of it but here we go there and then um, it wants us to also use the date filter so if you're not familiar with like filters in in uh, code I mean, let's go ahead and pull it up real quick so you can see a uh, date angular filter we're just gonna use it the default version which is gonna do the bulk of what we need to do but there's tons of stuff that you can do when it comes to this so the date filter will allow us to format our dates without having to do any complex stuff so we have all these other parameters like oh man maybe we want a year a year like this one year um, hour week day so tons of great stuff and you, you denote it by this brackets the variable and then this uh, uh, straight slash and then date and then if you want to format it a certain way you would then do it like that so uh, just something to keep in mind we're just gonna be uh, doing it like so and this was for date time so we're just gonna do a simple slash and then date let's go ahead and run that and then uh, once that runs we'll go ahead and jump back into here and we can see our localhost 8000 and you'll see all of our data right here nice and clean um, a little hard to see on that background uh, maybe should have made the font white or anything but that was our services what you really need to kind of take away from that is being able just kind of familiarize yourself with how services doing git calls um, HTTP git like so and uh, but if you've done API calls before it really shouldn't be a problem up next we are going to be doing routing uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video as always don't forget to like subscribe and share if you found it helpful and um, thank you for the support I appreciate it a ton and special thanks to you who are supporting me on patreon see you guys next time thanks for watching the video special thanks to our sponsor dev mountain definitely check them out at devmountain.com if you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development iOS or UX go ahead and give them a shot tuition includes housing so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.